All right, here we go. We've got the man, Mason Dane, in the house. How you doing, bro? I'm good, bro. Busy, but I'm, I'm great. Thanks for, uh, yeah, thanks for taking the time to, to jump on. Um, I think we got lucky uh, with getting you on. Just the timing sort of worked out. And like you said, man, you're busy. I could tell from just watching you online that you've got a lot of things going on, man. So thank you. No, of course, bro. Good to be here. Now, um, look, man, it all seems to be uh, happening pretty fast. Like, I'm sure you've been doing your thing for a little bit, but you know what they say, like, sometimes something that looks like it happened quickly, there's actually like a five-year, ten-year backstory or whatnot. Um, now, for me personally, I first, uh, like, caught on to you because of the T-Pain reaction thing. Um, and I'm sure probably a lot of people you know, caught on to you off the back of that. <clears throat> and then, you know, here we are. Um, and we'll get stuck into all that stuff in a moment. But I want to try to catch, you know, your entire career to this point. Um, so going back to the beginning, I mean, you are originally from Newcastle. Is that correct? Yeah, Newcastle, Newcastle. And so you're from Newcastle, your early 20s. You started doing the rap thing when, aroundabouts? Man, I started uh, making my own songs. I was probably like, just before I turned 18. Um, pretty much like, I'd always played music growing up. Like, my dad plays music, my granddad plays music, my mom. Every Everybody's, like, music has always been a thing. Um, and then sort of when, you know, throughout school I'd play instruments and, and sing, but I never, it was never in my head to, like, make a song. You know, my, my mom would always be like, yo, make a song. I'm like... Make a song about what? Um, you know what I mean? Like, it was just never a thought in my head. But, you know, when I was, like, 17, uh, my cousin, uh, I, I went and did year 11 and 12 in Wagga. And um, I was living with some cousins. And um, my cousin made beats. And I was like, yo, show me how to use FL Studio. So I made beats for, like, probably, like, six months or a year, really doing that. And then just put it together, bro. And And then, yeah, probably, like, 2018, I made my first song where I was like, okay, I'm going to put out a song. It's going to be like, you know what I mean? Like I put it out, my friends, my friends heard it and they're like, oh no, we're putting this out right now. Cracked Photoshop, made a cover art, um, uploaded it to DistroKid and just put it out. And then that was sort of the first time I was like, okay, I could like, maybe I could make songs and, and really do it. Because at the time I was just making joke songs. I was making stupid shit with my boys. Um... But yeah, so like 2018, and then I just, um, you know, at the end of that year, like I announced an EP. I announced an album, right? I announced an album. I was like, that's what people do. They announce an album, and and uh, I announced it, and I hadn't made a single song for it. Uh, and I set the date. I already set the date. So I crammed and I made like my first ever project uh, produced by myself and mixed by myself uh and then, yeah, so so pretty much like end of 2018 is when I first was like, started started making songs and putting out songs. Yeah, wow. So that first EP, the Wake Up EP, you did all the production on that yourself? Yeah, there was like one or two that I didn't do, but for the most part, yeah, that was me on uh, production and engineered it all and mixed it all. So when you dropped that first song in 2018, that wasn't part of the Wake Up EP? Yeah, it was. It was so. So I had an old song that I put on SoundCloud and stuff called "Losing Interest," which was ages ago. Um, but now the first song that I proper put out on Spotify was called "Don't Play," um, and it was on the it was on the project. But um, that was like yeah, the first song I made. I made that one on the YouTube beat, and then when I made the project, I did like ninety percent of the production here. Now I've got in my notes here as well that in two thousand and eighteen, when you've dropped this EP. Um, you were also living uh, in a in a caravan at that time. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so um, the caravan, man, I, I, when I finished high school um, in Wagga, pretty much like I wasn't sure what I was doing after school. Um, I sort of wanted to go to Melbourne and study music, um, but then I didn't end up getting like an a ATAR, uh, so I couldn't have even gone if I wanted to. So I was pretty much like... I told my parents, I'm like, oh, I might do this, I might do that. So my parents moved into a new house, right? And then I was like, yo, coming back. And they're like, oh, there's 
not really a, a room for you, <laughs> for you to stay in. So I was like, ah, oh. it's true. They're like, but here we are. We got you this caravan. We'll put it at the side of the house. Um, you can live in that. You get your own space, you know. Uh, so I moved in there, spent one night in there. Next day, I woke up. It was the middle of summer, glowing hot white box in the, you know what I mean, in the sun. I woke up sweating. I was like, nah, fuck this. <laughs> I'm not living in this. Uh, so, like, what I did was I, I turned it into, like, a studio when I first... Uh, and I just slept on my mom's floor on a mattress, a single mattress on my mom's floor um, in the lounge room at, at, at her place. So, yeah, so I was like working out dead late at night because, you know, my dad worked early mornings and, you know, it's like you can't stay out making music and all that stuff. So it was good. I had my own space and I, I was sort of making music and making songs and just getting used to like the process. But, um, yeah, no, it was the Caravan Classic Series 2000. And then so when you talk about turning the caravan into a bit of a studio, does that mean that the Wake Up EP was recorded in the caravan space? Yeah, the whole thing, whole thing was made in the, uh, in the caravan. I made, I made like, that was where I first started. Like I had it for like a few months. Uh, I was making songs in there just for fun, uh, just joke stuff with my boys. And then, yeah, like the whole EP, yeah, it was all made in that, in that caravan. The, the, the lesson. Oh, yeah.